Okay. Hi guys. So if my audio sounds better, it's because Arvin got tired of my shitty audio quality and sent me a microphone. And this is basically his motivation for sending me everything that he sends me is that he just wants me to be better. So let's see. So if it, so I hope that yeah, that it works out. I mean it it, I don't know how it sounds because this is my first time using it. So maybe this video actually won't have any sound because maybe I plugged it in wrong, but I won't know until I'm done recording. So yeah, anyway, we do best microphones. Cool, then I guess I can trust them. All right, so today we are going to talk about um, The Atrium by Unquiet Hands. So... How sh okay, so this is how it came to me. The box is dusty because I got it a while ago. And I just was like, the box is so nice, I can't bring myself to throw it away. I just can't. So I had to keep it, even though I have no room in my apartment. It's just so nice. Okay, so in what's in the box? So stickers, cool. I Oh my god. Was that in the camera? Have I been out of the camera this whole time? Okay, don't worry. Don't worry, I'll fix this. I'll fix this. This video was sponsored by Arvin. And, oh, ah! Okay. Um, um, sorry, technical difficulties. We'll get it figured out and I don't blame you if you don't subscribe because this is this is the kind of quality video that you're going to be getting when you subscribe to my channel. Anyway, all right, just forget. I can't do it. I'll just bring everything down. Okay, so you get a foam thing that I guess you could play with this. You know, you know, toss it around, play with your friends, and just take it in, give it a throw. And that's a nice thing that Tom includes is another toy for your unquiet hands. And then there's this, the panda pouch. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I hope I did not sneeze right into the microphone. Anyway, so this felt pouch, panda pouch. You can also buy this online. It comes branded and two-tone. When I got this, I was actually really surprised by how high quality it was because when I think of felt, I think of like, you know, that really thin material that you give to kids for their crafts and stuff, but this is actually very sturdy, like, it's, it's thick, and it's like, it's, it's just flat, it's very flat and solid, and then it's lined with microfiber, so that's a really cool pouch, but not very pocketable for me, just because, you know, girl jeans don't have real pockets, anyway, so, the COA, Ba, 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 ba. Interesting. Feels like a a thick business card. So this is mini stonewashed bronze R188 made September 6th. No, that doesn't make any sense. Made the sixth month of the year. June? June 8th? Yeah. Number 10. I don't know what this number is. Is this a backward seven? I'm not sure. Anyway, cool. Number, special number. And then Tom's signature and the atrium on the other side. It's cool. It's like, I like how they always, they have like a design for everything. Like this isn't just like some, you know, thrown together thing. It's like they have their COA design, which is like both sides thought out and with like diff the different illustrations of the atrium, their websites and stuff. And then the the design of the the stickers. There are four different stickers here. That's neat. And then the design, like everything is designed. Even the box is designed. The box has their logo on the top in like embossed silver. Uh, what else did we get in the box? We got a bearing removal tool with yet another design. My goodness, how much money did this cost? Um, 
an uh, there, an uh, I think this kit. I think this did the spinner come with an SBV two or something like that. It looks like. Actually, is this a hybrid ceramic with a nylon cage? I'm not sure. But anyway, I used uh, I popped it out and used a Bronx brawler in it because those are my favorites right now. Uh, but isn't that nice? I'm struggling to get the package open, so we're just gonna look at it from the outside. So, isn't that nice? The little smiley face. Hybrid ceramic smiley face. I wonder how long it takes him to label like all those little baggies. Ah! I ripped my box because my my plastic got stuck on it. And I also got, look at all the plastic bags I got in this box. Save the environment. I'm just kidding, thank you. I use these plastic bags um, for, uh, I put things in them and then I give them, uh, never, you know what, never mind. We're not gonna, you know what, just, I use those plastic bags. So thank you for sending them to me. Reuse, reduce, reduce, reuse, recycle. Reuse, reduce, recycle. Anyway, but check this out. I don't wanna peel it off because, because, I don't want to rip the box anymore, but look, Tom wrote me a note and he remembered it's my first one. That's so nice. And he did two upside down hearts and two right side up hearts, unless these aren't hearts and I'm mistaken. And look, it's, you can't see. Ugh. Look, the other side of it had another logo. Craziness. And the, 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 the sticker that he used to tape the box together was also another logo. Oh my goodness, everything is so well designed. Anyway, oh, the spinner. Okay, so the main the main attraction, this was a, um, so Tom was trying out this new finish that was like, uh, was it a fine stone wash and then a deep stone wash? So this is kind of like a double stone wash, but then, and it patented like super fast and really easily. It turned like chocolate brown. But then um, I was like, I wanna make this patina my own. So I took some polish to it and then I ended up getting this color and then, oh my God, my shadow. And then um, also a different texture on it that's sort of like, I don't know, like a very, it looks like a very fine stone wash. So anyway, yeah, retention system. And then this can unscrew that for you, the tool that it came with. And buttons, 20 millimeter buttons with a slight dish and a ridge right there. I find that it gives you, it's comfortable and it gives you a pretty good grip, but if you have like huge fingers, I feel like that ridge might get in the way. It's just like, cause you know, it's just like poking up into your finger then. You know what I mean? Cause I mean, if your thumb is bigger than mine, which it probably is. So that could be maybe an issue for you. And then I was just, you know, stick with the, the regular size atrium or the XL. Cause this is the mini and it is very small. Okay. So how big is it? How big is the mini? We have a lighter. So a mini atrium is half a lighter. And we have these. I don't know what these are, but they were around, so we're just gonna use these. I don't, so that's the size of that. Uh, what do we have? A leaf. It's about the size of a leaf. Oh, that's a great picture right there. I feel like the contrasting tones of golden and green. Oh, that's nice. Okay, glasses, glasses, glasses. It fits right on the lens of your glasses. Get yours today and don't see anything but your spinners. Cool, okay, so that's the size. And now I wanna talk about spin. This guy, I can't tell, I think it might be just the spinner in general, but it's very smooth. Like right now I have a Bronx Brawler in it, which is supposed to have a lot of feedback. And in my experience, it has had a lot of feedback in my spinners. 
especially bars. But then in this one, I can feel it. I can feel like the, I can feel like the, the ceramic ball bearings moving around and spinning around, but it's not, it's really subtle. It feels really smooth, but then it's like those little things are jumping around in there. It, it, yeah. So anyway, I think that's just like this spinner in general. Maybe it has to do with the um, retention system and it making it, you know, a little bit less directly in contact with the body and giving it less feedback when it spins. Maybe it's just that this is kind of like a chunky spinner and the, I don't know, like the weight dampens it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah, I'm not a physics major. I'm a neuroscience major. Don't ask me physics questions because I got a, what did I get in physics? I got a B in physics. Physics um, A, B. Physics, I think I got a B in physics B. Anyway, okay. So, what was I saying? Bearing, feedback, very smooth, uh, you know, extremely ergonomic. They're, are of course no hot spots on the atrium. I mean, just look at it. It's so round, so round and triangular. It's like a triangle and a circle had a baby and then they made the atrium because they wanted their baby to spin. So they put a bearing in it too. Anyway, um, yeah, what else? These are nice. I like, my favorite part about the atrium are these, um, actually the little divots in the side, just cause like I can put my, the tip of my finger in there and just pull it. And I think that's fun. I don't know, maybe I'm a weirdo, but um, that's cool. And then I also like how it's, you know, it sort of slightly goes in, but that's not really something you notice when you look at it. To me, when I look at this, I'm like straight up just triangle. This is a triangle and it's got like, you know, each angle is 60 degrees and all the sides are equilateral, but then you look at it and then it's got, and then you, you, I mean, if you really look at it and you notice that it's got the divot and then it just, it's like nice for flicking and pulling. It's like a very soft spinner. It's, it's very gentle. If this spinner were um, a giant, it would be the gentle giant. That doesn't make any sense. It did? Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Um, anyway. So yeah, this is, I really like this. This is actually the favorite, my favorite try that I've tried, tried that I've tried today, to date. Because um, just it being so chunky, it like, you're really throwing that weight around in each of the arms and it feels like you're holding something very substantial and heavy and spinning it around is just nice for slow or fa uh, fast pulls or flicks, you know? So yeah, this is my favorite try. And it's nice that, you know, Tom has a regular size, a mini, and an XL. It's like, have it your way, Burger King, unquiet hands, whatever you want. He's got it. Tom is so cool. You know what happened? So on this spinner, I, it's got this like weird patina thing going on, patina, whatever, where this, only this section, this particular section and nowhere else, the patina or patina looks like this. And it's like red and it just doesn't come off. Like it's not a chemical that landed on it or something that splashed on it and just happened to get this corner. No, it's like actually a part of the metal because of like I've tried cleaning it a bunch of times and polishing it and it's just never gone away. And it always ends up darker than the other sides, but, um, and it's like on the sides too, like this side is darker than this one. I don't know if you can see it in this light. So just trust me. But yeah, so I, uh, I messaged Tom and I was like, yo, do you know what's going on here? And he, when he, oops, sorry, when he got back to me, so he, when he got back to me, he sent me like four different links about this happening in bronze spinners and was like, I think this is just how it is. Um, and it's just like, you know, one of those things about bronze, like a camo patina. So that was like really dope of him to do the research for me. <laughs> Because I was like, I guess, too lazy to look it up myself. But anyway, um, and then he was like, if you don't like it, you can just send it back. And but we don't have any in stock right now, so I would have to refund you. And um, at this point, I've had this for like mm, a month or so. And he was just like, and I changed the finish and I've done God knows what else to it. 
And he was just like, I'll take it back because it had this spot of patina that, you know, you just asked about, which was, you know, very dope of him. And I was like, no way, Jose, I'm going to keep it because I like it a lot and I don't really care about that stuff. And then he was like, okay, cool. I'll give you a gift in your next order. And I was like, that's so nice of you. Thanks. And that's how my experience with Tom went. And that was good. I liked that customer service. Great customer service from UQH. They, you know, he always listens to like what his customers want. He like, if, if you ask for something, Tom will tr like try and get it and then he'll deliver. So that's like something I like about them too. Um, I don't even know if this like review had anything, review had anything informative in it at all, but I just like, I like the spinner. So that's my opinion and yeah, thanks for watching. This might be the worst review I ever upload, possibly. Okay. Um, have a good rest, good rest of your lives.